Welcome once again to Digital Training Hub. If this is your first time visiting the channel, hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to receive alerts when new content is released. This is lesson 1 of 7 on entrepreneurship. Lesson 1. Entrepreneurship Education. Introduction. Demonstrating understanding of the entrepreneurship unit of competence is among the seven basic competencies units offered in all the levels of qualification. The unit covers the knowledge, skills, and behavior required to demonstrate an understanding of entrepreneurial culture. It entails an understanding of an entrepreneur, entrepreneurship, and self-employment by identifying entrepreneurial opportunities, creating awareness, and developing and applying business innovative strategies. This unit is important too for employment creation, bridging unemployment, and increasing innovativeness in economic development thus economic growth. The critical aspects of competency to be covered includes distinguishing entrepreneur and business persons, identifying entrepreneurship opportunities and their legal aspects, identifying business resources for self-employment, generating business ideas, analyzing business life cycle, developing business and financial plan, preparing executive summary and present business plan in accordance with principles and policies governing entrepreneurship. The basic resources required include a checklist, research tools, and machines. The unit of competency covers seven learning outcomes. Each of the learning outcomes presents learning activities that cover performance criteria statements, thus creating trainees an opportunity to demonstrate knowledge and skills in the occupational standards and content in the curriculum. The information sheet provides a definition of key terms, content, and illustration to guide in training. The competency may be assessed through written tests, demonstrations, practical assignments, interview, oral questioning and case studies. Self-assessment is provided at the end of each learning outcome. Holistic assessment with other units relevant to the industry sector workplace and job role is recommended. Performance standard. Apply entrepreneurship and self-employment understanding. Identify entrepreneurship opportunities and develop innovative business strategies in accordance to principles of entrepreneurship, business procedures, and strategies, and requirements for entry into self-employment and government policies. Learning outcomes list of learning outcomes demonstrate an understanding of who an entrepreneur is demonstrate knowledge of entrepreneurship and self-employment identify entrepreneurship opportunities. Create entrepreneurial awareness Apply entrepreneurial motivation Develop business innovative strategies Develop business plan Lesson 1. Learning activities 1. Distinguish entrepreneurs and business persons As per the principles of entrepreneurship Special instructions outline the qualities of a good entrepreneur Learning activities 2. Identify types of entrepreneurs As per the principles of entrepreneurship Learning activities 3. Identify characteristics of entrepreneurs as per the principles of entrepreneurship. Learning activities 4. Explore factors affecting entrepreneurship development as per principles of entrepreneurship. Learning activities 5. Identify ways of becoming an entrepreneur as per the principles of entrepreneurship. Introduction. This learning outcome aims at equipping the trainee with knowledge of understanding best who is an entrepreneur, who he socially is, his characteristics, how an entrepreneur differs from a business person, types of entrepreneurs, characteristics of entrepreneurs, factors affecting entrepreneurship, and development as per the principles of entrepreneurship. Definition of key terms. Entrepreneur. It is a person who creates initially small businesses and strives to maximize the potential of their venture while simultaneously minimizing risk. Entrepreneurship. This is a process of designing, launching, and running a new business which is often initially a small business along with its financial risks. Self-employment. This is where an individual is in control of his, her own business, makes decisions affecting and enjoying all the profits of that business, and incurs all the losses. The business environment is those factors that affect the operations of a business. They may be the internal or external environment. Small-scale enterprises. It is a type of enterprise marked by a limited number of employees and a limited flow of materials and finances. Distinguish between entrepreneurs and business persons. Entrepreneur. An entrepreneur is an investor and the first creator of a product. He invests time, energy, and money on his own idea. He doesn't start a business from an unoriginal idea. Business person. 
An entrepreneur is an investor and the first creator of a product. He invests time, energy, and money on his own idea. He doesn't start a business from an unoriginal idea. A business person can make a business out of an unoriginal business or product idea. He enters into an existing business, such as franchising and retailing. He chooses a hot and profitable business idea regardless of whether it is an original or a borrowed idea. Entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs are more concerned with changing the world. They want to pursue their passion and achieve an ultimate goal. Business person. Most business persons are doing business for profit, livelihood, for reaching their own boss. Entrepreneur entrepreneurs take crazy risks and don't care of losing time and money just to pursue their passion. Business person. Business persons take calculated and managed risks. They cannot afford to lose money or suffer from bankruptcy. Entrepreneur. An entrepreneur is a friend and a leader. He finds peers and people whom he will never treat as machines. Business person. A businessman is an employer and a manager. He hires to help his business grow. Entrepreneur. An entrepreneur sees customers as his source of duty and fulfillment. Business person. A business person sees customers as his source of sales and revenues. Entrepreneur. Entrepreneurs try hard to beat their worst competition. Business person. A business person tries harder to beat his competitors and win the competition. Entrepreneur An entrepreneur sees the world as a duty rather than an opportunity. Business person. Businessmen see the world as an opportunity. Entrepreneur. Works as an artist his product is a masterpiece. Business person. Businessmen don't waste any time. Types of entrepreneurs. Innovator. They come up with completely new ideas and turn them into viable business ideas. Imitators. They are the types who copy certain business ideas and improve upon them. Small-scale entrepreneur. It is a type of entrepreneur that involves small business ventures. They lack the scale to attract venture capital but are funded by family and friends. Examples are groceries, consultants, carpenters, and hairdressers. Scalable startup entrepreneur. Entrepreneurs start their company believing that their vision can change the world. Their funding comes from venture capital and they hire the best employees. Finding a scalable and repeatable business is the ultimate goal of the business. Examples are Facebook, online shops, Instagram, etc. Large company entrepreneurship. Through sustaining innovation, offering new products in order to meet with changing customers' needs and advanced technology. Often companies do this by partnering with or buying innovative companies. Examples are Microsoft, Samsung, Google, etc. Social entrepreneur. It is where an entrepreneur creates products and services to solve social needs and problems. This can be non-profit, profit, or hybrid. E.g. SafePoint Trust by Mark Koska which works to redesign medical tools and introduce inexpensive non-reusable syringes for underfunded clinics around the world. Importance of entrepreneurship create jobs. As much as entrepreneurs create jobs themselves. They also create a number of jobs opportunities with their business venture and as their businesses. Grow so the opportunities available increase. Creates change. When entrepreneurs make a product or explore ideas, it brings in change and improvement in the world. Entrepreneurs give to society. The more money they make the more in taxes they pay which in turn funds public services. E.g. Bill Gates the founder of Microsoft is the biggest donor to charities and non-profit organizations. Entrepreneurs have independence. They are their own bosses which enables to work to their capacity and towards achieving a specific goal. Freedom of ideas. They are free to implement and make any change in the operation of the business. Disadvantages of entrepreneurship risk of business failure. There is no certainty of success. Long working hours, especially in the early stages of implementation. Income is varied and uncertain. It is difficult to estimate the income that you will be able to get in a particular day or month. Identify ways of becoming an entrepreneur be a risk taker. Humans are generally risk averse. But part of being an entrepreneur is recognizing the risk that you should take. Successful entrepreneurs know which risk to take and which they shouldn't. Exercise. That is put the idea into action learning. Getting new ideas from established entrepreneurs. Networking. Analyzing gaps in the market where you can invest in and working together with entrepreneurs of your area of specialization. Trust yourself. B. 
Being determined to achieve your goals. Challenge yourself. Compare yourself with the already established entrepreneurs. Visualize goals. Determine the needs and requirements of your goals. Characteristics of entrepreneurs are identified as per the principles of entrepreneurship. Characteristics of entrepreneurs self-motivated. When you want to succeed you need to be able to push yourself. You aren't answerable to anyone else as an entrepreneur and that means that it's hard to get moving without anyone to make you. Risk taker. Successful entrepreneurs know that sometimes it's important to take risks. Playing it safe sometimes never leads to success as a business owner. Flexible. Have the ability to be able to change as needed. Staying on top of your industry and be ready to adopt changes in the process and product as they are needed. Passion. Successful entrepreneurs are passionate. They feel deeply about their product or service or mission. Basic money management skills and knowledge. Understand how money works so that you know where you stand and so that you run your business on sound principles. Network. Being able to connect with others and recognize partnership opportunities can take you a long way as a business owner. Factors affecting entrepreneurship development are explored as per principles of entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship is influenced by various factors. Economic development. Culture. Technological development. Education. Political factor legal factor capital these conditions may have both positive and negative influences on the emergence of entrepreneurship. Economic factors. Economic environment exercise the most direct and immediate influence on entrepreneurship. These factors include capital, labor, raw materials, market, infrastructure, social factors. These can go a long way in encouraging entrepreneurship. In fact, it was the highly helpful society that made the Industrial Revolution a glorious success in Europe. The main components of the social environment include caste factor, family background, the attitude of the society, education, cultural values, technological factors. Technology has influenced entrepreneurship development through innovations and the use of the internet to gather new and existing information. Education. Many entrepreneurial theorists have propounded theories of entrepreneurship that concentrate especially upon psychological factors. They may include need achievement, withdrawal of status respect, motives, political and government changes in government policy can have a very huge effect on the business in question. For example, the tobacco industries have been on force to put warning labels on their product and lost the right to advertise on the television. Conclusion. In this lesson, The learning outcome covered the distinction between entrepreneurs and businesspersons, identifying types of entrepreneurs, identifying ways of becoming an entrepreneur, identifying characteristics of entrepreneurs, and exploring factors affecting entrepreneurship development as per the principles of entrepreneurship. Further reading. Read more from the internet on ways of coming up with a business plan. End of the lesson one. Thank you for watching and listening to this lesson. See you in the next video. If this is your first time, remember to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to receive alerts when new content is released.